What is there to say about herbal medicine that is negative? Herbal medicine, natural medicine saved my life when I was in a vegetative state in 2001. I absolutely exhausted allopathic medicine. However, integrating natural into what I was doing, I was able to come out of a very, very desperate state. Herbal medicine literally saved my life. And so that's why I'm so passionate about it. And now, 16 years later, um, I'm able to share it in a private practice as a certified herbalist, a certified home homeopathist, um, a doctorate in holistic health, and also a doctorate in naturopathy. It is just something that once I got my teeth into, I just, I couldn't stop wanting to learn. And now I'm, I'm so happy to be able to share this with you. In the next five months, five to six lessons maybe, we're gonna be going into all of the different preparation methods. Um, when it gets warmer and spring flourishes, we're going to be going into the propagation, the seeding and the planting and, and harvesting and the like. But while it's cold here in January, I thought if we learn all of the preparation methods first, then we can go into our planting season and our harvesting season and know exactly what we want to do and how we want to do it. And I also thought this would be a good opportunity for you to begin to hone in on the particular herbs that you wanted to work with because not every herb is going to be of interest to everybody but everybody will zone in on the, their few favorite herbs that they would like to, to, to work with. This is gonna help you in choosing what you want to plant and what you wanna work with later. I would like for you to know a little bit about everything, but, but it's just natural that you're going to gravitate to a few that you just really like and that you really, really resonate with and also that really suits your particular health needs. I'll say it's hard to be on the ball with every herb. There are just too many of them. And there's, there's, you'll find that in your particular soil, in your particular space, because we want to do this in our backyards, in your particular space, with the soil that you have, all of the history of your land, certain plants are going to be conducive to your particular situation and you will just learn you will learn what you have good luck with and what just doesn't you know quite do so well you know so you want to do what you can do well and and i'll tell you something else that we can do as we go along and we develop these classes i have a feeling this is going to be an ongoing thing we can each grow different things and we can share and that way we all get such a nice diversity of, of herbs and that's what's so fun about these kind of groups is 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 the sharing um, so so each of us will be able to grow something in particular better and then we can share that anything that is a botanical whether it be a root a bulb or a leaf or a stem if it is infused it becomes a tea now, how many of you have kind of had kind of a confusion between spices and teas? Spices are the same. Anything can be a spice if it's used to flavor food. So in that respect, the same herbs, the same botanicals can be a spice or a tea depending on how you use it. Coffee used as a spice. How many of you have had Kona rubbed meat? Kona, okay. It's ground coffee, coffee bean used as a rub to flavor meat. That's when coffee then becomes a spice. So, so I, I kind of want to just expand your understanding of how many labels that we put on food is actually not 
representative of the food itself, but the process in which the food is used. When we get into extracts and some of the different um, processes, um, medicinals, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the medicinal qualities of coffee. Coffee gets such a bad rap, and it is so unfair. It is so unfair. There, there is, coffee is a wonderful antioxidant. There's so much to be said medicinally about coffee. So if it's, um, you know, and sure, a lot of people just can't deal with the caffeine. That sure, yeah. Caffeine again is a medicinal. So if you overuse it or abuse it or misuse it, yes, it's gonna cause problems like anything else, but it doesn't make it bad. It doesn't make it negative. So I, I really want you to kind of allow yourself the enjoyment of a good cup of coffee.